we've talked ad nauseum around here the last couple of years about the, uh, let's say, decline that the MCU is on. Not an unrecoverable decline, but a, a decline at the MCU. And even in the midst of their decline, they put out a couple of things that have been really damn good. But overall, the general, most people agree, the, the general overall quality level of the MCU uh, has decreased. And part of the result of that has been a bit of a decrease in box office. There's been other factors as well, no doubt. But, I mean, you know, we're not seeing Marvel films coming out and popping off billion-dollar results like they used to almost on the regular, which kind of spoiled us when we started taking the billion-dollar mark for granted. It's, it's a very, very difficult thing to do. That's why out of the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of motion pictures that have been made, only about, I can't remember the numbers at right now, 60-something? 50 or 60 members of the Billion Dollar Club, max. Maybe mm -hmm. 50 or 60. It, it, anyway, it's around there somewhere. But we haven't been seeing the Marvel Cinematic Universe films approaching or hitting that mark. Now, will the Avengers films, the upcoming Avengers films hit that? Oh, probably. But what about all the other upcoming MCU films? So I thought we would do something fun here. I thought we would take a minute and we're going to look at seven upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe films that are confirmed, announced, all that kind of stuff. And we're going to rank them from least likely to hit a billion dollars to most likely to hit a billion dollars. All right? We're ranking these from the least likely to hit the billion dollar club to the most likely to hit the billion dollar club. And all right. It, it, it's $53 billion movies. 53. So 53. Okay. So there are 53 billion dollar films. What are the chances of any of these upcoming MCU films that are not Avengers of getting that? All right. I'm going to start off at the bottom. Now the we're here. Le the least <laughs> now we're here. The least likely, thank you Drake. The least likely of the upcoming I think Marvel Cinematic Universe films to join the billion dollar club is Armor Wars. Now, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I think this is going to be the worst not at all. I'm excited about this project. I got really excited when they announced that they changed directions and that it wasn't going to be a TV series. Because remember, originally, this was supposed to be a Disney Plus series. And they changed directions on that. They're going to make it a motion picture. Still, it's mostly going to focus on secondary characters. I love Rhodey, but I mean, I don't think that's going to be a billion-dollar film. I think this can be a very good film. I think it can be a successful film. But I think out of all the upcoming films they've got... I think it is the least likely to hit the billion dollar mark. All right. Second least likely, I think that will hit the billion dollar mark, but I am very excited for this film, is Thunderbolts. Again, it's primarily a team that is made up of secondary characters, which is part of the reason why I'm kind of excited for this. Uh, like, I wasn't very interested in Thunderbolts until they showed us this lineup at Comic-Con. Or was it Comic-Con or... Disney celebration. It was one of the two. And they introduced this lineup. And as soon as I saw that Red Guardian was in it, I'm like, yep, yep. <laughs> but this, this could be the recipe for a very good film. And I hope that it is. I don't think it's the recipe for a billion dollar film, right? I think they, they take this, if this thing hits 500, 600 million dollars, I'm not saying it will. I'm saying if it does, I think they got to take that as a big win and, and then move on from there and maybe turn it into a new franchise and can grow from there. All right. The third least likely of the new films to make a billion dollars is Blade. Has to be made first. Well, yeah, number one, it's got to actually get made <laughs> and it's got to actually come out in theaters. But also, listen... The other Blade films that are much celebrated never came close to whiffing the billion dollar mark. Um, this is going to be a new thing they're going to try. You do have a two time, two time Oscar winning actor in Mahershala <laughs> Ali leading the film if he's still there by the time they get around to shooting this thing. But, and that's why I think it has a better chance than Armor Wars. I think it has a better chance than Thunderbolts. But I, I don't put it, you know, near the top. <clears throat> of the likelihood to hit a billion. So that's the, the third least likely. All right. Next, Shang-Chi 2. Um, the first Shang-Chi is one of the few insanely bright spots of the MCU since Endgame, right? WandaVision, Spider-Man No Way Home, 
uh, Loki season two, Ms. Marvel, Shang-Chi. I mean, these, uh, uh, Shang-Chi is just, so, I couldn't believe how much fun I had at Shang-Chi when I watched it. I just love this film. I think it's only grown its audience since it first came out in theaters. Uh, we know that uh, 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 Destin, yeah, Destin, who has yeah. left Avengers Kang Dynasty, if that movie even keeps that name, he's left that movie to focus on Shang-Chi, that and Wonder <laughs> Man. And I think with the fact that the first movie was so great, it's grown its audience, I still don't think it'll make a billion dollars, but I think it has a better chance of hitting the billion dollar mark than say Armor Wars, Thunderbolts, or Blade. All right, next up, the third most likely to join the billion dollar club, I think is uh, Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. Fantastic. <laughs> um, the upcoming Fantastic Four. I think this is some people might get think it's weird that I'm not I don't have it higher on the list. But here's the reality. There is some uphill battle that they're going to have to have here. Right? There have been no less than what three or four three theatrically released Fantastic Four movies, right? Mm -hmm. There were only two with Chris Evans, right? Am I yeah, right about that? Two. two of those. There yeah. wasn't a third. No, nope, okay. no third. So they had those then you had, you know, the CGI Ben Grimm one and the one with Michael B. Jordan. None of these movies ever did super fantastic at the box office. The quality of those movies are oft in question. So there's going to be baggage that comes along with this. And on top of that, Rob, I, I think you can agree and attest that the last decade or so, I mean, Fantastic Four was even a comic that they canceled back when we were doing uh, Heroes. Yep. They actually canceled <clears throat> they the did. Fantastic Four comic book run because nobody bought it. Um, they are the first family of comics, but it's not like they're a super part of the zeitgeist. So, but it is still, nonetheless, you're saying, well, then, John, why do you rank it so high? Well, I rank it still high because there's a lot of attention on this. There's a lot of spotlight on it. Who's going to be Reed Richards and who's going to be Johnny Storm and all this kind of stuff. This is generating a lot of excitement, a lot of talk. So those two things balance each other out a bit. So I make it the third most likely. Again, I don't think Fantastic Four, the first one, will make a billion dollars. I don't. But I think out of all the things that we've got, it's the third most likely to do it. All right. Second most likely. Captain America 4 or Captain America Brave New World. It's an established franchise. The name Captain America still means a lot. Uh, a lot of people liked Falcon and the Winter Soldier more than I did. Don't get me wrong. I, I didn't dislike Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I liked it. I was just hoping for much, 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 much better. Uh, Anthony Mackie as Sam, he took over the role. He's done great. I mean, for me, Captain America is just Steve Rogers, is Captain America, is Steve Rogers, is Captain America. But I mean, the job he did in that show was great. The story they told was quite nice. And I think they're going to be a lot of people. Plus, you got Harrison Ford coming in as Thunderbolt Ross. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be excited about it. Again, I don't think this movie will make a billion dollars. But I think it can be quite successful. And if any of the films on this list so far were going to make a billion, it would probably be this one. That leads us to number one, Deadpool 3. This is the only film on the list that I actually do think will hit the billion dollar mark. And as a matter of fact, if we go over all the other films, Armor Wars, Blade, Thunder, Thunderbolt, Shang-Chi 2, Fantastic Four, Captain America 4, we would get into a discussion about all these things would have to go right in order for these to hit a billion dollars, right? With Deadpool 3, I think the billion dollar club is theirs to lose. I think there are a number of things that would need to go wrong for Deadpool 3 not to join the billion dollar club. Now, you can say, rightly so, but John, Deadpool 1 nor Deadpool 2 join the billion dollar films themselves, billion dollar clubs themselves. And you'd be absolutely right. They're two of the highest grossing R-rated films of all time, but they've both got into the 700 millions. 
but they are beloved. And now you're adding on top of that Hugh Jackman coming into it and the fact that it's now in the MCU. I, I think it's fairly clear that pushes it over the billion dollar mark, even given today's uh, context that we have with, with, with what's going on now. I literally think this would have to be a bad movie. It would have to be a bad movie. Hugh Jackman would have to get involved in some major scandal. Ryan Reynolds turns out isn't Canadian after all, and he's been lying the whole time. I, I don't know. Something would have to happen in order for it to not make a billion. So again, my list of probabilities are at the bottom, Armor Wars. And again, I think all these can be good, and I think they can all be successful. I just don't see any of them making a billion. But <clears throat> the second most likely or second least likely Thunderbolts, uh, third least likely Blade. The fourth most likely to get the billion dollar club is Shang-Chi 2. Third most likely would be Fantastic Four. Second most likely would be Captain America 4. And my most likely out of all the upcoming MCU films that have at least been officially said they're happening is uh, Deadpool 3. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Guys, you know, as a small business owner, I am finding myself having to be in negotiations all the time, whether it's with new contractors, vendors, or even agencies that represent our company. Now, I don't like to go into these negotiations unarmed, so I found the perfect class on Masterclass, The Art of Negotiation by Chris Voss, a real-life former FBI lead hostage negotiator. Taking this class on Masterclass made me feel a lot more equipped and confident going into all these various negotiations. I have to do on a regular basis. With Masterclass, you can learn from the best to become your best anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. An annual membership starts at just $10 a month, and you get unlimited access to every instructor, thousands of online lessons, exclusive content, insight, and much more. There are over 180 classes to pick from, everything from filmmaking with Martin Scorsese all the way to cooking with the great Gordon Ramsay. In Masterclass, you will find practical lessons that you can apply to your life and work. So guys, get unlimited access to every class. And right now, as a John Campion Show listener, you can get 15% off when you go to masterclass.com slash campia. That's masterclass.com slash campia for 15% off an annual membership. Masterclass.com slash campia. Rob, you saw my list. How would you order these from least likely to most likely get that billion dollar club jacket? Mine's close to yours. I, you know, Armor Wars being at the fur the furthest away from the billion dollar club, I think is absolutely correct. Uh, same with Blade because it's going to be an R rated horror film, and not a lot of R rated movies have approached. I mean, of course, Joker did, but the billion dollar mark. Um, I'm going to go Fantastic Four after Blade. Um, I just I don't have any faith that that movie is going to make a billion dollars. It might be good. It'll do Doctor Strange 1 numbers, 600 mm. to 800 million, I think, maybe. Um, Captain America 4, honestly, I want it to be good, but I don't have much faith in it. Reports that it is doing extensive reshoots, and the director uh, directed The Cloverfield Paradox, which was a movie I really disliked. I did not like that film either. And I, I you know, I... I hope it's not a Captain Marvel situation where the last Captain uh, America Civil War made, it was a $1.1 billion grossing film. And I hope that Captain America 4, I mean, the director doesn't have a lot of, of this kind of experience. And I don't know if they've, if, when you have a billion dollar movie that you're following up, I would think that you'd want the best directing talent that you could get that has a, a long track record, like to bring in someone like James Wan when they brought James Wan in to direct Furious 7, mm. you know, but they never do that. And it's weird to me. I think with Captain Marvel or Marvels, they suffered, but I just don't see it, it happening. Um, so I'm going to, so here's my list. Armor Wars, Blade, Shang-Chi 2, John, I would put, well, I, let me give you my, in order. So Armor Wars, I think it's at the bottom. Blades at second. Uh, Fantastic Four is third. Captain America Four is fourth. Uh, and then I would say that Thunderbolts and Deadpool Three are the two movies I think have the wow, best. Wow, you're chance. putting I, Thunderbolts a lot higher I'm, than I did. I'm, I'm putting Thunderbolts there because I think that ensemble cast 
and the people that we've seen in it already, they're all great actors and they all deliver <clears throat> fun. They all deliver wild entertainment. And I think that done correctly, the Thunderbolts might, might get there. But that, and then of course, I think Deadpool 3 is a slam dunk, unless it's a bad movie. I think that Deadpool 3 is going to make a billion. I'll stake my reputation on it, such as it is these days. Um, I think Deadpool 3 is going to make a billion dollars. It would have to be seriously not good to not make a billion dollars. I, I, I do. I want to address something here. Something somebody said in the live chat. Uh, Lady Hotep is saying, so are we saying a movie isn't successful if it doesn't hit a billion? Is that the standard? No, that's why I specifically said I think a lot of these movies can be really good and can be successful, just maybe not hit the billion. The billion dollar mark is not the mark of success. Mm -hmm. It is an extremely rare. Yeah. Like we said, 53 out of the tens of thousands of motion pictures, only 53. But we are talking about an MCU where it almost became regular, almost became regular that their films would hit that elusive, incredibly high mark of a billion dollars. Can they do it again? And we're just kind of discussing, you know, what are the, are the ones coming up? Which ones have the chances to do that? Um, so no, if a million, movie does not make a billion dollars, that doesn't mean it's not successful. That's idiotic. A movie can make $300 million and be successful depending on its circumstances. But we're talking about that upper echelon, the most exclusive club in movies, the green jacket, if you will, of getting into that billion dollar club, something that is so rare that Marvel used to do on a regular basis. And we're just wondering which of their projects can still do it. I, I will say in terms of Marvel, if, if, if there's a movie that becomes a billionaire or joins the billion dollar club, there's more likely a chance for a sequel. Well, I mean, that's right. true. Look, look what happened with Joker, right? right? Joker was never supposed to have a sequel. Ever. Right from the beginning. They say, this is a one-shot movie. Period. <laughs> and then it hit the billion-dollar mark, which nobody expected it to do. Got nominated for Best Picture at the Academy. I mean, there's a lot to go into it. Yeah, movie hits a billion dollars. That puts it in rare fields. And just fields that Marvel films used to play in a lot. And we don't see it happening a lot anymore. And there we are. But it is by no means the standard of if something's successful or not. Not at all, not in the least. You can make a lot less and still be successful. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.